flower bed made from a landline phone, a clutch bag out of an old cassette box, and cozy slippers from a sweater? Today, we will tell you how to give your old things a new life. What can you do with a whole bunch of plastic Lego parts and toys that no one plays with anymore? Here's what you can do. Hot glue the toys together to form a ball. Make cat ears from the triangular parts. Glue the cat's torso from the rest of the parts. Fasten the cat's head. Cover the cat with violet spray paint. The result is a figurine in a plastic steampunk style. The violet cat will perfectly decorate the interior of any child's room. A landline telephone with a wire is totally useless these days. We can use our cell phones for communication and give this old rotary phone a new life. Disassemble the plastic case. Twist the internal mechanism with a screwdriver. Take out the bell. You will only need the empty case. Cover the holes in the bottom with a piece of a foam rubber sheet. Take out the disc and assemble the parts of the body together. Paint the phone with a light pink spray enamel. Carefully paint over the handset and the spiral wire. The result is a cute pink phone. Let's try to transplant a flower into it. Carefully pour in potting soil. Plant a succulent into it and slightly moisten the soil. Plants like these require very little water. An old unwanted phone turned into a very stylish retro flower bed. It looks very cute. Sneakers with a white sole can be beautiful and stylish, but aren't practical at all. Dark stripes, gray spots? Well, this is absolutely unacceptable. Give your sneakers a new beautiful life with ordinary unpainted twine. Cut off three pieces of it and secure the edge with adhesive tape. Weave a braid from the pieces of twine. Starting from the top of the sole, Squeeze out a strip of hot glue and fasten the twine braid to it. Glue it all around the sole, forming and stacking neat coils tightly to each other. The result is fashionable espadrilles with stylish rope soles. The updated sneakers look very impressive. The rope upgrade definitely suits them. Do you have an unwanted plastic box from a videotape? Don't get rid of it! We have a life hack for this case. Using a hot glue gun, cover the VHS box with a white foam rubber sheet. Cut out three fingers like this from a piece of a black foam rubber sheet. Fasten them to the box using hot glue. Glue on pupils made of a silver foam rubber sheet. Wind a black thread over your folded fingers. Remove the threads. Tie them in the middle and cut them from both sides. The result is a soft pom-pom. You will need three of those. Fasten two pom-poms as panda's ears and make its tail from the third one. Now you need two little rings. Hot glue them onto the cassette box. Fasten the chain on spring hooks. It turned out to be a nice and functional clutch bag. Cash, a phone, and all sorts of useful things can easily fit inside. We will also give a new life to old children's tights. Cut off the stocking. Stuff it with a polyester filling. Tie the edge with an elastic band. Cut out the necessary details from pieces of black and shiny foam rubber sheets. Glue the foam rubber sheet to the stocking. Make a funny puppy face. We will also decorate the body of the dog with some multicolored foam rubber sheets. Apply hot glue on two sides of a cloth square. Glue it and turn it inside out. Make four legs. 
Stuff them with a polyester filling and seal the top. Fasten the legs to the dog. This nice dosh hound really wants to play with you. Show your imagination and turn old tights into new stuffed toys. For example, a funny caterpillar or a beautiful fox. And if you put them on your windowsill, the toys will be able to protect your house from drafts. For the next life hack, you will need an old car tire. Put the wheel on the table. Hot glue a sheet of white foam rubber over it. Now you need a piece of thick orange fabric. Wrap the wheel with a cloth using a furniture stapler. Sew a pillow from the same fabric and stuff it with polyester filling. Glue eyes, nose, and fox ears. Stretch the fabric seat. Attach a round cardboard bottom. Insert the pillow. Cover the staples with cloth buttons. You've got a comfortable fox chair. Only you will have furniture this original. Did the handle break and the umbrella is beyond repair? Let us tell you how to recycle it. Open the spokes of the umbrella and place it on the floor. Pour soil into it. Loosen and level the soil. Plant flowers inside. Strengthen the planting site with stones and don't forget to water it. And now this is not an old broken umbrella, but a bright alpine slide. Very beautiful. The lack of important buttons is a serious reason to buy a new keyboard. And as for the old one, we have a great life hack. Use a screwdriver to pull out the buttons from the keyboard. Now you need a wide picture frame. Use hot glue to fasten the buttons to the frame. Fill the space with the buttons, placing them in a random order. Insert a photograph. A photo in a computer keyframe will decorate your office desk and lift your working mood. An old t-shirt has burnt out and is covered with stains. It's time to throw it away, or maybe not. I have an idea. Take a piece of fabric with double-sided sequins. Cut a round collar and a square for decoration. Sew a collar to the neck of the t-shirt and use the square to mask the spot, creating a decorative pocket. It turned out so stylish! A t-shirt with anti-stress decoration will be useful to you for a very long time. For the next life hack, you will need old torn flip-flops. Slice off the rubber straps. Cut off a sleeve from an old sweater that no one wears. Trim the excess. Stretch the sleeve on the sole of the flip-flops. Apply a strip of hot glue and attach the sleeve on the sole. Turn the edge inwards. Warm, homemade slippers are the end result. You'll have a cozy and comfortable winter wearing these tall woolen slippers. Don't rush to throw away a trouser belt even if it's already breaking up from old age. Cut off the edge of the belt with the metal pieces. Apply a strip of hot glue and combine a layer of leather with a lining. Unfasten the metal end switch. Glue accessories to the product using a hot glue gun. Wind the belt around your hand and fasten it. A red leather bracelet looks fresh and very unusual. Did you like our life hacks for remaking old things? Write in the comments which of them you will definitely use. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Troom Troom Select. And be sure to click on the bell button so you won't miss our new videos.